I'm gonna tell you some common mistakes that a lot of YouTubers make when it comes to monetizing their channels, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. And real quick, I'm curious to know, are you currently monetizing your channel outside of ads in any way? If so, let me know down in the comments. Okay, the first mistake that a lot of YouTubers make when it comes to seriously monetizing their channel is not being prepared for opportunity. Here's what I mean. I have clients that I work with where I help them build their YouTube channels and monetize their channels and all of that stuff. And one of the first things that I ask people when I start working with them is what is it that you're trying to accomplish? Because if you don't know where you're going, then you can't figure out how to get there. So the first thing that we do is we establish some baseline goals so that we can basically set our target out so that we know what it is that we're actually shooting for. In most cases, it usually comes down to people wanting to offer services in some kind or offer more services or get more exposure for their services. It comes down to positioning, actually using YouTube as a positioning tool. And of course, money. You know, how can I generate money for my channel? What are some things that I can do to actually get more money that I'm currently getting from my ads? And then of course, from there, it comes down to what services are you wanting to offer? How exactly are you wanting to position yourself? And what are you currently doing to monetize your channel? And in a lot of cases, you know, people are starting out with a baseline of zero zip zilch nada. What I'm getting at with that is they don't have any doors for opportunity to knock on. So even though they might be uploading videos or they might be doing these other things in order to try to get exposure on YouTube, they haven't actually built the doors yet for opportunity to knock to generate some of these things that they're wanting. As an example, I have one client that wanted to do consulting inside of the niche that they are in. But because the channel was small, they thought that they shouldn't offer consulting yet. And the funny thing about that is I said, okay, the first thing that we have to correct is that we have to build a door so that opportunity can knock. Because right now, regardless of how big or how small your channel is, you don't know who is watching your videos. In this particular case, I told the client to get a domain name, build a website, get a service list together so that they can actually start promoting this stuff. In addition to that, because you know I've built a lot of websites and I know how long it takes to build a website and how long it takes to get all of that information together if you actually put some real thought into it. So what I said is I said, okay, right now, go ahead and start offering the services now with every single video that you upload, put in your description, this is the services that I offer, this is how you can contact me for those services. And what do you know, after a few uploads with these things in the description, he actually got his first client. It took him three weeks, and I think it was six videos to get his first client that he would not have gotten if he did not start putting this stuff in, in his description and if he didn't go ahead and get his list of services together. Now, if you're in the same boat and you're wanting to generate more services or you're wanting to position yourself in a certain way or you're just wanting to earn more money off of YouTube, then you need to start putting these things in place now regardless of how big your channel is. And here are some tips for you. Number one, get a website. You can host it for free if you want or you can get paid hosting plans. You can get an actual actual domain name, which is basically your website name. You can get that uh, domain name at a bunch of different places online. I'll put a link down in the description below where you can find that and hosting services and all that stuff. But you wanna get a domain name, you wanna get hosting set up, and you wanna get a theme of some type that you can actually build your website around. In addition to that, with your domain name, you also want to set up an email address that is an official email address at your domain name or at your website name. So it would be you at whatever your website name is, .com. Number two, if you're gonna be offering services services of any kind, you want to make sure that you put together a service list right now and you go ahead and get a list of services and pricing together so that when somebody does hit you up for your services, you're prepared. Number three, in the meantime, while you're setting up your website, while you're doing all of that stuff, go ahead and put in your description the services that you're offering. You know, just, just something that you're wanting to focus on. You don't want to put a big list down there, but put the services that you're offering and put a way that people can contact you right now if they're interested in using your services. Now, the reason that you wanna do all this stuff now is because as your channel grows, if you wait for your channel to grow like that, then what's gonna happen is, you know, let's say that you get 10,000, 50,000, 100,000 subscribers and you say, 
okay, now I'm gonna start offering services. What you've done is you've created an entire backlog of videos that are not working for whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. So it's really important that if you have five subscribers right now, it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, go ahead and get these things in place now so that all of those backlogs of libraries of videos that you are making right now can always be feeding into those services as your channel grows. The same exact thing applies if you're using it as a positioning tool or if you're just trying to make money in general. As an example, you know, you should not wait to start using affiliate links and start promoting affiliate offers. You should not wait to offer merchandise. You should not wait to do any of that stuff if it is something that fits into your long-term goal. The same exact thing goes for Patreon. The same exact thing goes for creating an email list. If you're trying to get emails and you're trying to collect an email list so that you can stay in touch with your viewers and so that you can do any type of marketing or anything like that, start it right now because then your entire video library ends up working on your behalf. As your channel grows, then it naturally causes everything to swell, which is pretty amazing. You can get some pretty amazing results because of that. So if you're wanting to do any types of offerings whatsoever, if you're wanting to position yourself in a certain way, if you're wanting to generate money from your YouTube channel for real, not just add money, and you're wanting to get some serious results from what the, all the efforts that you're putting into your YouTube channel, then go ahead and start now and get all of this stuff together so that you're prepared and you've already built that door for opportunity to knock on because you might be three weeks away from your first client. You might be one week away from somebody offering or uh, reaching out to you for a speaking gig. You might be two months away from generating an extra, you know, 100, 200, $500 a month or more from affiliate links that you have in your description. All of this stuff adds up over the course of a video library. So I strongly suggest that you get all this stuff together now, regardless of how big your channel is, so that you can basically let it grow with you as your channel starts to swell. And real quick, I wanna say thank you to Pedro from The Wolf's World YouTube channel here. He sent me one of his t-shirts, and I wanna say thank you, and I appreciate it. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.